All right, before you start any any maintenance or anything, you want to disconnect your battery. That way you don't have to worry about shocking yourself or killing your battery. So just loosen up the bolts. Disconnect your wires. Pull it right up. So today we're doing the spark plugs on this car, which are located back underneath this cover. Then we can get in there and These are our wires and they're all connected each to a spark plug. We're going to be replacing the spark plugs and the wires. First thing you're going to want to do is connect, disconnect some hoses. Um, take this off. Take that off. This is just making it so that we can access everything easier. Alright, so now that we got everything disconnected, we can pull this out. That way everything's a little easier to access. Now we're gonna replace these wires. So in order to get them out, you just give them a little tug. Pull it out. It doesn't look too bad, but we're gonna replace them all anyways. And you're just gonna do the same with all the rest of them. They're tucked underneath here, so they're kinda hard to access. Now we could take the intake manifold off, but we don't have to because there's ways around it. All right, so one of the tools you're gonna need for this is a spark plug socket. Inside here, it has a little rubber tip or piece of rubber in there that makes sure you don't break the socket off. Now on this car, it's hard to access, so you need one of these little joints and just a ratchet. Now, that's one of our issues. All the little white stuff on the tip of it, that tells us that our engine was running too rich, and yeah, time to replace those. Cause this, what a brand new one looks like. Here goes our second one. See, that one's just as bad. On to the third. Now, this third one's not as bad, but still, not a bad idea to replace it. And on to the last one. This is the one that I'm pretty sure caused the issue because my check engine light flashed four times telling me that it was the fourth cylinder and yeah, look at that. That's pretty bad. A lot of corrosion. All right. Now, this right here is a gapping tool for spark plugs. You want to make sure that the gap between the diode and the, um, yeah, this thing is, um, for this car, it's supposed to be between 2.0.2. 0 0.028 and 0 0.2 or 0 0.034. Well, 
it's right about there because that's right before 0 0.032 and a little after 0 0.028 we're going to do the same for all of them all right we've now gapped all of our spark plugs and it's time to install the new ones so insulation is basically just the opposite of uninstallation right tighten spark plugs too much just uh snug them down a bit there it's starting to get tight so give it a little bit and then pull it off now obviously do the same thing for all four we're gonna get it down in there and then line it up once it's lined up start to tighten it give it a snug back off and you're going to set with the second one I'll see you when the fourth one's done now we unplugged the wires before but this is where they plug in this is the distributor right here and we're replacing all the wires so we're just going to unplug them from the distributor and plug in the new ones And it's very important that you plug the wires into the correct spots. So we're not going to mark these because we know where they go. But the fourth one plugs into the bottom, the third one in the second bottom, the second in the second one, and then the first one on the top. Just make sure you know where they go. That way you're not running your car incorrectly and possibly damaging it. There we go. There's all our spark plugs, wires, and you might want to save these because they're not necessarily bad, but if something happens and we need a new one, we can use these old ones until we get a new one. Now, these are our new ones. They look a little different, but when I ordered them, I made sure that they were from my car, year, make, and model, and make sure you do the same. Now let's start by plugging in the top one, number one. Make sure you hear a click. And then we'll take the second one, which is the second longest, or second shortest. It's going to be this one. We're going to plug that in next. Third one. And last one. So plug it onto the wire or the spark plug until you hear a click. And now I'm going to do the rest of them. All right, so we now have all of our spark plug wires installed. And now that that's back in, we can reinstall our battery. All right, we put that back in. All right. Move everything out of the way. Drop our battery in the battery tray. Connect our wires with our 10 millimeter socket, which is back over here. All right. Snug that one down. All right, those are all snugged. Now, let's see if she runs. We hop in the car and start it up. So 
sounds a lot better. Uh, that's all for this video.